Hello, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Shopify store to Amazon Seller Central to automatically fulfill your Shopify orders with Amazon using Order Automator. Uh, it's here in the Shopify App Store. It's a free trial available, give it a try, it's awesome. And once you install it, you will be in your Shopify App Store and on the App homepage here, Order Automator dashboard, uh, we'll go to the Amazon page to configure our features. Okay, Amazon. So first we'll connect to a new marketplace. Uh, just follow these instructions. We have, you can connect any Amazon marketplace in the world. We have the most common ones here, but if you need more, just let us know. So I'll connect this. Okay. Uh, yep. All right. Authorization complete. Go back to our automator. Refresh the page. Now we see all of our features here. Um, just a couple quick steps to finish getting set up here. Uh, check the shipping map. You have this will list your available Amazon shipping methods. Standard and expedited. Priority, some marketplaces have it, like the USA. Um, but just make sure your Shopify, if you have these expedited shipping methods, you just put the name here of whatever your Shopify method is that you want to correlate to the Amazon method. Check these options. And then the SKU map here is going to map your Amazon SKUs with Shopify. So it's only relevant if your SKUs are different. Um, but I'll show you that in a second. So let's add a product that we want to ship with Amazon. So I'll go to this product here that I have in Shopify. Just on the product page here, edit locations. You'll see a new location here, uh, FBA, then your country order automator. Click that. Now this location is going to be available for this product and this inventory is automatically going to sync with your Amazon FBA inventory. Um, it might take a couple minutes for the first sync to happen. Just depends on the products you have and how fast the connection uh, syncs with Amazon. So um, now that I have that, um, I'm going to want to sync my um, inventory. Uh, I'm sorry, my SKU map with uh, inside the app here. So just refresh the page. And now you can see the SKU now showed up here. If it doesn't show up right away, just give it like a minute. Um, if you have a, a lot of products, it might take a little longer to sync and add it here. But now that I have it here, I can see uh, that this uh, Shopify SKU is being synced with Amazon. And if it's different, your Amazon SKU, just highlight that, just change it to whatever the name of the Amazon SKU is for that product. So we got our product synced, we got our shipping uh, mapped. Um, now I'll enable this. Once it's enabled, uh, it'll automatically, if you enable it for the first time, it's automatically going to create a fulfillment rule. This is one of the uh, features of our automator. You can create rules to automatically request fulfillment. So it's gonna create this default rule that most people uh, will, will use. It's just gonna um, request the fulfillment if the assigned location is to your uh, FBA location and the shipping country is in that country. You can modify this if you want, just click edit. For example, if you ship to, if your marketplace ships to multiple countries, you can do that. Uh, if you wanna change anything you want there. If you're planning on manually requesting fulfillment, you just disable that rule or you can delete it if you want. Uh, we'll enable it, that's what most people will do. So now with that enabled, any new orders that come in with the uh, products that you have in your SKU map are automatically gonna get requested to Amazon. Amazon creates the order in Seller Central and then after Amazon ships it, the Order Automator app is gonna update your Shopify order with the tracking number and market fulfilled, all automatically. Uh, one other thing that you wanna check is your shipping profiles. Anytime you add a new fulfillment service, you'll want to, uh, Shopify might automatically add it to your existing pro shipping profiles, they might not. Um, so what you'll do is go to your Shopify settings 
All right. Uh, and then your shipping and delivery. Um, so your shipping profile, this controls what products are going to, what shipping methods are going to show for which products on your um, checkout page. So uh, I'm just going to scroll down here. Um, it looks like they added this method automatically. No rates for one location. Maybe not. Okay. So I'm on the general profile. This just has all the products. And you can see not shipping from FBA, United States Order Automator. Um, so I want to add that rate. So I'm just going to click Add and just use the same rates that I already have done. And now um, that is going to be included. So you can see it's in here now, the shipping origins. This is our like business address and then the, um, uh, the new FBA location. Save that. And now we're all set. So now anytime the uh, order comes through, it's going to get shipped, created in Amazon and shipped by Amazon, updated in Shopify automatically because of the order automator connection. So um, we have more information and details on our um, in our support portal. You'll see the links. Um, if you have any questions or feature requests, let us know. Uh, I found this to be very useful. I used to own a Shopify store and we shipped. We had no physical location, but we had Amazon marketplaces in USA, Canada, Germany, and the UK. And what we would do, we would route our orders, uh, international orders, um, anywhere in the world, just through our Amazon marketplaces. Not, not anywhere, most places that we had a, a geographic close location with the Amazon. So if someone ordered in Spain, we would ship it from Germany. Um, same thing, France, UK, all that. So um, with our automator, you can do that automatically. Enjoy. Let us know if you have any questions. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoy the app. Have a good day.